Hi, I'm Raina, the Witch of What the Life, and I have ADHD. Welcome. If you are returning to my channel and you know me, you have probably wondered where the heck I've been. Well, I'm going to tell you. And if you are new to my channel and you just caught the title of this video and thought, what's this chick about? Well, chat. So for those of you who already know me, no surprises, probably what I've been up to, which is a whole lot of way too much. And those of you who are brand new, I started my channel doing fluid art painting, a lot of uh, paint pouring, shelly art, and then I branched into resin and Lord knows what the heck I'm gonna be up to next, but let's take a little tour, shall we? Okay, so this is my house. I'm gonna start with my biggest problem in the world, which is not finishing what I start. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you some things, so bear with me. None of this is staged. Um, this is my pile of resin projects. So here I have Mercy Tales, pretty cabochons that I made um, from dipping glass into my paint colors. So like, aren't those pretty? Oh look, all kinds of moons. What am I gonna do with these? Who knows? And there are all of these Tupperwares that are filled with all kinds of different things that I have made and have not yet used. So it's amazing that I even got them into Tupperware. It took like hours. Look, snakes, snakes. Here's some things that I made recently for Fluid Art Company. Some nice molds of, you know, I've got an elephant and, and a moose and look, an eagle and polar bear, and there's two more of those elsewhere. I have no idea where they went. And look at this. This is part of a giant tray, and it's beautiful. Uh, haven't finished it yet. <laughs> Lord knows when I will, but, you know, I got some pretty stuff going on here. Look at this. All this stuff. Jewelry. Strange little crystal uh, Ouija thingies. Christmas ornaments. And uh, Lord knows what is even in this box. That's just the resin, and that's just a part of it. Guess what? I'm also a musician. Look at my incredibly cool guitar. This is a Hamer. <laughs> it is the most sparkly, amazing guitar. I love it. Uh, another one of my guitars. Uh, one of my pianos, and ooh, look. Oh. Clean a bunch of shit off. Look at this, my brand new acquisition. So I sing play guitar and keys in a rock band. So that takes up a bunch of my time, which is a good thing because music is my love. This is the top of my uh, piano that, you know, <laughs> I hollowed out it, because it would not stay in tune. I wanted to keep the piano intact, hence I added the digital keyboard, but you know, hey, whatever. So this is <laughs> the top of my piano. Got some candles here, tape measures, some more resin stuff I've made, all kinds of coasters that I have not yet listed on the website. Oh, you know, a pedal for, you know, music, a seashell, Halloween decorations. It's April, so I have not taken my Halloween decorations down. Some more stuff to list and my little uh, setup for photographing all of the earrings I make. Some of you may remember this, my big fluid art octopus. Yeah, this just kind of hangs out in my stairwell because I don't know where to put it yet. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so I've been sorting my jewelry um, under my laptop picture, of course. You know, all kinds of boxes and keys and findings and all that sort of thing. Apparently I have stamping supplies. I don't know when I got those. Uh, you know, paintbrushes. You know, hey, why not? Let's do some macrame, because why would I not do macrame? I've got some polymer clay stuff I'm working on. How pretty are these? I'll probably make a few videos on that. You know, I've got jewelry I have yet to sort. I've got like the abominable pile of bubble wrap. Who needs that much bubble wrap? Got some my clay supplies. Yeah, my pliers. These are some really cool earrings that I just cut out on my brand new laser that I still need to macrame. So yeah, that's fun because everybody wants their kitchen counter to look like this. Oh yeah, brand new holographic resin molds. 
Actually, I ordered those in October and I literally just opened the package this morning. It's April. Speaking of jewelry, I uh, organized everything I owned into boxes. I'm still not done. There's still so many more boxes I need to sort through and it makes me cry when I think about it. Look, here's some cool crystals I made in a weird cauldron that I never put away from Halloween. And guess what? Haven't finished these yet either. Speaking of unfinished, let's go over here. Look, all kinds of my beautiful uh, Shelly art tests on tiles that I have yet to resin or anything to do with. They're just kind of hanging out. Oh, here's one of my opal stones in the works. A freaking hair got on here someplace. I don't know if I can show it on the camera, but I have to redo this, which is just irritating. Uh, here's a few more. Oh, look, here's a fun one I'm working on. Uh, added some vinyl with my Cricut on this one. A few more to cover. You know, another, oh, there's one of the resin pieces I did for Fluid Art Company. Oh, and here's the other. There they are. <laughs> Found them, mystery solved. Yet another one of my guitars. Uh, there's my backyard. There's some kids swinging next door. And then we're gonna come over to the box of God knows unfinished what. A black clay, that should be the, with the rest of my clay stuff, but it's not. Oh God, that's heavy. Okay, so. I've got a bunch of opal stones underway that I started <laughs> and I would like to say that I probably started these, I don't know, last June and just have not finished them yet. So this is like the box of, the spirit box of unfinished projects. That one's really cool. Look at that. This box is layers upon layers upon layers of paintings on tile, almost all of these. Look at that, that I haven't resined yet. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's gonna take a while and a whole lot of resin. Are you feeling overwhelmed yet? Cause I sure am. I can't make a video about ADHD without showing you the doom boxes. Uh, so I had my art up at a shop recently. Haven't taken it out of the box, it's been weeks. Um. Like, here is my beautiful geode that I did for Valentine's. Oh my God, this thing is so heavy. You know, just sitting here in my hallway, chilling behind a box, because that's what I'm gonna do. Here, I'll set it on this suitcase from my trip to Mexico two months ago. Okay, y'all. God, this is it. Doom boxes. Most of these are closed. There's art supplies in here too, I mean, What's in the box? Who knows what's in the box? I don't want to look in the box. I'm scared of the box. So yeah, that's, um, oh God, I just want to die sometimes. Hey, look, I managed to brush my hair, but I wanted to show you my painting shirt. Yeah. That's an unflattering angle, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's, this is what I look like on my days off. So, oh, cool. Look at this wind catcher. Wind catcher, sun catcher I made. That mold is from Fluid Art Company. That was for them. And then I added all of these cool like things. And somebody offered to buy this from me like months ago and I still haven't given them a price because like I I don't know what a um I don't know what these crystals cost. So it's like, how do I price that? I could go on Amazon. That's been on my to-do list for like Mm, two and a half months and I still haven't done it because my to-do list is just that long. This is my front door. These are some Halloween decorations that I just never take down. And this is like my new collection of earrings I've got listed on my website. And they're just hanging out here on a coat hanger in my front hallway because I just don't have another place to put them right now. Isn't that great? God. That's cute, isn't it? That's a piggy bank mold. This is one of my favorite pieces of art. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Behind me is the world's scariest wallpaper circa 1973 when this house was built. And it was all over the wall right here, but uh, I couldn't deal with it anymore. So it's gone and we painted it. And here is my laser. 
it's huge and it's awesome and there's going to be so many cool things I do with this and then over the hill and through the woods this incredible mess we go welcome to my music studio pedals amps my piano under my keyboard you know like a normal person some of my guitars some paintings from high school oh god it's a mess oh that's some strange lighting I have one EP out and I'm working on a new record uh, it's doom pop I guess if that's a thing, uh, you can check it out. Oh look, here we have a painting I started back in 2015 and never started, never finished. I mean, it was supposed to be the cover of my uh, record. <laughs> yeah, definitely with something else. I don't know if I should finish that or not. Maybe, we'll see. Welcome to my art room. <laughs> this is probably gonna really freak you out. It freaks me out, it's really frightening. And uh, <laughs> This is after cleaning for like six hours, so you really don't want to know what it looked like beforehand. Let's take you on a tour, shall we? Okay, so there's my studio lights and everything. We're gonna walk over to my closet. And here I have my drying racks, right? And I've got all these things that I haven't finished yet. I've got some wrapping paper that I have like the best intentions for, but, um. It's been here for a few years and I still haven't done anything with it. <laughs> Look, how pretty is this? I've got some like alcohol ink, like resin moon things. This like little collection here has been sitting here for um, months, months. And I mean like probably a year. Uh, I've got all kinds of paintings. I just haven't done anything with Look, more coasters. Um, my stockpile of flow troll, don't hate me more. That's just a uh, part of my studio. So if you're not freaking out yet, you really should be. <laughs> this is my resin mold cabinet thing in here. I've got that y'all, that is a unicorn horn. Get your head out of the gutter. Uh, I've got all kinds of resin molds all through here, different kinds of resins. I really need to organize this pile, but it scares me. So my little wall of art. Yeah, it's crooked. Ooh, look at this one. I've been working on this one for years and just like have not finished it. That is an acrylic painting of what I like to call parrotfish. <laughs> Parrots, uh, parrotfish meet penguins. Um, one in the long series of unfinished artwork that I have. Here's a geode that I'm working on. Now that it is getting warmer, I can go outside and take this to my belt sander and finish off the sides and actually, you know, have a finished piece of art, which would be cool, wouldn't it? This is a Labradorite that I'm working on. How cool is this? Um, I didn't know what I was doing, so this is like not gonna get a video, but maybe ones in the future will when I figure out what I'm doing with it, but unfinished work in project. Pro progress, right? Progress. Chemicals, markers, tools, you know, there's this thing. My collection of this little piggies. Everybody's favorite, my favorite at least. Scary, scary, scary. A geode in progress, another one. Alcohol inks. All kinds of paint that I mixed so long ago that I would kind of imagine at this point it's all solidified and I'm gonna have to try to find something interesting to do with that so you may see some 3d art coming out of me because I don't want to you know let the paint just go to waste I got to do something with it I do try to keep my paints organized uh, like my owl lamp I found that at the thrift store and painted it my favorite color turquoise got my different paints I got these here another work in progress a bunch of glitters, a bunch of boom gels. And then this is my tabletop. <laughs> so right now I am making earrings. Here's the cutout uh, from some and different tests with boom gel and that sort of thing. The heat gun, an empty wine glass, cause it's me and you know, if you've ever watched my videos, you know I occasionally like a glass of white wine while I'm painting or resining or, well, okay, not resining, that would just be kind of dumb, but you know what I mean. Here's um, some more earrings that I am working on. These are gonna get resined. And have some more here. <sighs> oh God, okay, this works. Natural lighting. So that's where I've been. I have all kinds of really fun stuff up my sleeve, but at the same time, 
I'm so scattered <laughs> and so busy that it has been quite difficult for me to sit down long enough to edit a video for you of any of the processes that I'm working on. Yes, I do take medication for my ADHD, but it doesn't it doesn't solve it, right? So I'm still just flitting around doing whatever the heck I want at any time. And I am making art, I promise. I've got videos on the way. I've got so much footage, so much footage for a lot of things I've made and I just haven't had the time to sit down and edit it. You know, rock band, um, trying to stay married <laughs> and keep my relationships up, uh, making art, playing with my new laser, all of the things that I'm into, it is awesome. It is so fun, I love it, but yes, YouTube is suffering. I hope that this is just a fun little way too much TMI glimpse into my life and just kind of what I am up to and what all of your favorite artists who suffer with terrible ADHD are probably up to. If you have any house organization tips, please send them my way. I need it. There's parts of my house I won't even show you. Like, I won't. You would freak out. Um, it's really, really bad. I try to clean at least 20 minutes a day. I read a book recently called Unfold Your Habitat, so I'm trying to follow that at least 20 minutes, which does help. It would just help if I were more consistent and had a little more time. Wow, my arm is getting tired. So that crooked painting is really bothering me. Hold on. Okay, that's better. And bonus, I didn't trip in the aisle. On my way back over here because I didn't show you my floor, which is equally scary. It's, it's scary. It's scary. This is all very scary. I know that some of you will relate. I know that some of you are in the same boat. Man, this lighting is bad. Okay, let's try this. Okay. I'm just going to do the rest of this with my arm tired, but that's okay. The, the colors are pretty. I know some of you are in the same boat, and I wish you well because I know I hope other people wish me well in trying to figure out how to navigate how busy get life gets and all of our different commitments and trying to make art and trying to be present on social media, which is quite a lot to balance. There's going to be some really cool artwork coming uh, with both paint and resin on all sorts of things. I've got like crazy amazing plans. I've got things that I don't even know how I'm going to do them yet, but they're here in my head. I may imagine that with like 10 million other thoughts at every given second. I've got so much going on and I am really excited to show you things in the future. So thank you for hanging with me, bearing with me. I made a promise to myself to try to get my house under control that I am going to finish my projects before I start on too much more new things. Now there are things that I'm just going to be making in the meantime to sell on my website, which is here. And feel free to go browse that and see what I've got for sale because I'm trying like hell to finish the things I've started, get them listed and get them out of my house. So I stopped tripping over them. So this is a period of me finishing what I've started before I start new things and trying to, you know, go through some old footage, get some videos together for you. It's a little strange time in my life, but thank you for hanging out and seeing what the f I am going to do next. Signing off your witch of, uh, yeah, what the f and ADD, ADHD, whatever you want to call it. Ciao.